Ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Other side of the world, here in Croatia. Gonna be fishing here from the rocks with tiny little soft plastic, little grub, tiny jig head. What more can I say? Deep water, beautiful day. Beautiful evening, mate. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sick at the moment. I got sick while traveling, so a bit funky in the voice. But other than that, I'm as keen to fish as I've ever been. And we're just gonna try to get some tiny little reefy species. Let's get this grub out there. Get the show on the road. As far as action goes, little jerks. Hopping the grub along, getting that tail working, and then a nice long pause. We're fishing deep water here, so you really wanna let it get back down to the bottom. I'm on, I'm on, boys I'm on, what the hell is that, oh, put up a fight, it's gonna ledge me, look at that thing, smacked the grub, it's deep hook, I believe this is called a painted combo ladies and gentlemen, oh. alright, he's off, big release, I don't know if they have dangerous spikes or not, probably do, foreign country, unaware of the species, Look at him. Cool guy, send him back in. Off he goes. First fish of the sesh on a bloody lovely evening, mate. <laughs> okay, I don't actually talk about that. <clears throat> I'm about to have a coffee fit. Like I said, I'm sick. Covering from something caught off the plane. Casting it out again. It's cool catching new species. I just, I really don't know what else is out there. We're gonna have to find out. Oh, big hit, big hit, something smashed it. Felt big. Well, not that we're going for big fish here. We're just going for cool little ones, but felt like, you know, a sizable little fish. A sizable little fish, you know what I mean. Yep, there we go. On again. Oh, it's another one. Oh, he's gonna ledge me. This one's a bit bigger. Look at that. Look at him. Oh, we got a wasp situation going on. You can see these spines, they look deadly as. He's just vomited up a little shrimp. I feel kind of bad. That looks busting, man. Sorry for losing your meal. All right, let's get this guy off. There, yeah, look at that thing. Painted combo. Very cool. Come on, buddy. Oh, mate, that's not ideal. Oh, he's off. All right, ladies and gentlemen, don't do that at home. Treat your fish well, that was a mistake. Sorry, bro. Good luck out there. Hey, right. where's your shrimp? I throw it back in. Oh, it's on my hand. Bon appetit. I feel kind of bad, I sabotaged his dinner. He munted out his shrimp. Dinner's precious. All right, anyways. Second catch of the day. Get it back out there, what more can I say? This has gone better than expected. This is fantastic. Oh, had another bite. We're ready. Oh, let's go. This is bigger. Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, it's a baby scorpion fish. Is it? I did not want to touch that. You won't catch me putting my finger anywhere near that. This looks venomous as. Look at that, I think it's a baby scorpion fish. Venomous as anything. I'm not touching that bitch ass. Hell no, I'll get a close up of it there. It looks like a gurnard that would get back home, but. Oh, don't kill me, please. How do I get him back? Should I just flick him? I feel kind of bad, I feel like I should water release it. I flicked him off. He's off. Anyways, back on with the show. I don't know if that's a scorpion fish or not. Honestly, none the wiser. Someone knows in the comments, let me know. Let me know what you reckon. As far as I'm concerned, that might be a baby scorpion. It fought pretty hard. Not that I know anything about scorpion fish fighting hard, but yeah. Anyways, just don't want to get anything that can kill me. That'd be the preferred way to go about this. But can't always choose what you get. 
Sometimes the fish chooses you. Oh! We're on. We're on. Oh, this is big. This is big. Oh my gosh, it's a plagic. It's a plagic. It's gonna ledge me. What the hell is that? Please stay on. Please stay on. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. It's a brim. It's a sea brim. I think this is called like a two banded sea brim or something. Dude, that is so cool. Look, it's actually quite big. That's a really, really cracking fish. Look, it's actually like, mate, that's about half a meter if I do say so myself. It looks like a little, oh, he's strong. Looks like a little snapper. Can you guys see that on the GoPro? I'm trying to like angle it to where I think the camera is. I did buy a second GoPro, but like my sisters are using it, so. Oh! That fish was crazy. This is wild. Four fish, I've never caught one of those before. I think it's called a two banded or two striped or two collared sea brim or something. It looked exactly like a yellow tail brim or even like a snapper that we get back in Australia. But man, he went hard, he pulling the drag. I was honestly pumping and winding that thing and got the heart racing. Let's go. Get that back out there. Mate, what a cracking vid this is gonna be. <laughs> That was actually really fun, I can't lie. I'm excited about that one. Never caught that fish before in my life. I've caught the other one. I've been to Croatia before many times in my life. And I'd caught those combo fish before. Not the scorpion looking one, but I've caught those little other first two before. But never caught one of those. And that was a big one as well. I've seen them on swimming and that's pretty big. Two banded sea brim. That was legendary. Oh no. Session's over. Let me just get this bitch off. Oh, I think I got it. I think I delodged the snack. Nope. Definitely not. I'm gonna swim down and get those tomorrow. Just because it's so clear and easy to get and I hate littering, like, especially like fishing hooks and that. Like it's just, like what if a fish comes and eats that, you know what I mean? So I'll have a swim around, find it I'm sure. Set up running today, we've got a samurai reaction rod. It's a two to four pounds, super lightweight. Fast action, I've got that paired up with a Daiwa Exist 2000D. DP. It's bulled on that, I got P.6 braid, eight pound leader. All right, I'm gonna put on a little bait junkie in the Yabby UV color. That was a bit big for this jig head, so I just trimmed it off. This one here, but I think that should be, should be good to go. Let's get this little grub out there. It's so fun using tiny little plastics and little lures and things. Especially when you're using good, good quality gear. Um, you're probably thinking, mate, how the hell did you get an exist? Where did that come from? And yeah, I look at it and think the same thing, to be honest. But, <laughs> um, yeah, I just haven't had the opportunity to crack it out in any of my previous vids. It's just because I've been like flatty fishing and just stuff that was a little bit too heavy for this reel necessarily. But yeah, it was a Christmas present from a combined effort between my mum, my auntie, my grandma, and I also put in a couple hundred dollars into it, so. Oh! What the hell? Something big just ate it. Anyways, yeah, it was a combined effort really between a few people to afford this. I don't have the money to dish out on a full price exist, so. Wow, it fully pulled it off. That was a big, big something. <laughs> a big, big something. I think that might've been a pelagic, boys and girls. But yeah, you don't need this type of equipment. However, it is super fun to use. So if you don't have any high-end gear, it doesn't matter. I mean, I went years, most of my life, up until <laughs> literally like in the last year with just the run of the mill, $60 combos that you get at BCF. And they were brilliant, mate. And they still are. And I probably still get some every now and again. So if you don't have the top of the range, you don't need it at all. It's fun to use. And if you haven't felt, you know, how an exist a Dyer exist feels, for example. You know, go down to your local tackle shop, it can't hurt to just fill it in hand and feel how it works and all that sort of thing. I do recommend doing that, but yeah. You don't need this type of gear. I'm just obsessed with all the gear. 
and the specs, mate. Love the specs. <laughs> Don't know what I'm talking about. Aside from that first monstrous hit, nothing seems to be touching this. Maybe they don't like the color. A little bit too unnatural. The water's super clear. Usually I'd use a bright color like this in murky water. So that could be a factor. I'll chuck on a little Zeman back on. Super natural green grub. Pretty much exactly what any fish around the world can recognize as food, so can't go wrong with that. All right, got that on there like that. Uh, I just realized I don't have any more batteries in my bag. GoPro batteries flat, we're all running flat. So, thank you for watching. I don't remember how many fish it was I caught. I think it was four. We got those two little comba, painted comba fish, potentially baby scorpion fish, and a two-banded sea boom, I believe it was. I'm gonna keep fishing. I'll just fish until the battery dies, which might be very soon. So don't get your hopes up.